in the world that is right now is prophecy. How many of you have downloaded New Year prophecies? I know people who download New Year prophecies. Every 1st of January, you are waiting to hear prophecy. Prediction of events that will happen is part of prophecy. But that's not what makes you a prophet of God. Prediction of events is not what they give us prophecy. What will happen are, uh, within the year. Uh, that's what they give. Who he help? That's another question I have to say. Who he help? And they said this will happen this year. Oh, the other, years back it used to be plane crash. I remember. There will be plane crash this year. And plane will crash. And you will, oh, he's a man of God. He prophesied ah, about plane crash. I don't blame you because your person or you, you are not among those who crashed. What kind of user prophecy is that? So you have the power to see plane crash. But God will not tell you which particular airline, which day it will crash. So that at least me who is hearing you, I will avoid going to airport that day. Useless things that don't help anybody. If there is no value to it, if there is no salvific value to it, it doesn't make sense. Jesus was not preached by prophecy, he was, pre he was preached by preaching. You accept Christ to repent and believe the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God is what is at hand. Things that have no value. Oh, this year will be very tough. Eh? Since I was born, Nigeria has been tough. Nigeria has been getting tougher. What kind of thing is that? And you will cling to it. Who does not know that things will be tough in Nigeria? Or so, hey, there will be accidents, my dear brother. Even in your bedroom, accidents happen. You say it's a man of God. I don't even want to talk about those, those who predict who will win election and who will not. It is the most useless kind of prophecy. In Nigeria, where all politicians are corrupt, your own prophecy is which among the corrupt politicians will win election. And after the election, what happens? The state where the person is ruling becomes the number one state in the whole world. And you want me to accept that kind of prophecy? No. I want a prophecy where a man of God will go out of the correct, corrupt system as Samuel went and anointed David who was not there. That means the person you are anointing has no political godfather. He does not have um, a political framework. He is not under the sponsorship of anybody. You just go and pick nobody from somewhere. Pour that oil. And the person becomes a governor or a president. The person is not answerable to any idiot. Then the person can now come, rule the state or rule the country, like Paul Kagame of Rwanda. He was not prophesied. Rwanda is working more than any country, more than those you have been prophesying about. And you want me to accept the prophet of God? My foot. Who prophecy help? You've been prophesying since. You have been prophesying who will win, 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 win. Where has the country gone to? Lord, I want a prophecy that will put somebody who will change the country within four years of the person's tenure. Then I will know that this person was anointed by God. Don't be falling for all these things. You will just go and carry. Hey, he prophesied it to a prophet prophesied who will win World Cup. Hi. Who he help? He prophesied who will win World Cup. Something an animal also did. So that animal is a prophet now. You've not heard about Octopus Paul. He won't be saying that from day one, say before the World Cup tournament started. He started, he started predicting who will win. And then somebody who says he's a man of God will prophesy who will win World Cup. And it happens. And that for you makes him prophet of God. Because we want prophets who will begin to tell us when all these wicked politicians in Nigeria will start resting in peace. <laughs> Abby? Let them start resting in peace now so that those who have the good of the country at heart can start what? Coming up. That's the kind of prophecy that will help us. I have Gary and roasted him to eat. And you come and prophesy to me which one I will eat today. How did you help me? Your prophecy should bring me chicken and uh, turkey that I don't have. It was when Jesus came to Galilee that Matthew is now saying that prophecy that Isaiah gave centuries ago that people have even forgotten about it has been fulfilled in Christ Galilee of the Gentiles the nation that was in darkness have seen a great light who is that light? it is Christ Jesus it is not because he brought economic buoyancy in that place it's not because he bought cars or he did any other thing no because he did or he's teaching them right now the light of salvation how to gain salvation so uh, as uh, matthew is saying jesus is the fulfillment of that prophecy unity is very important 
We must pray for unity and work for unity. And I'm asking you to take responsibility and stop promoting the things that bring disunity in Christianity. Whether as a Catholic or a non-Catholic, it does not matter. And Paul expects us to be united in our teachings, our understanding of things, and our doctrines. And that can only happen when Christians come together and begin to sift what is important. All of us must not be Catholics to be united. We mustn't be Catholics to be united. We mustn't be Presbyterians to be united. But we should be united in our what? In our basic fundamental Christian teachings. And remember, you are a lamp carrying the light. Make sure you do not take the place of the light. St. John the Baptist said, I must decrease so that he will do what? He will increase. And finally, remember that the Lord is your light and your salvation. It is not me. It's not Father Mike. It's not Father Sunday. It's not any bishop or pope. The Lord is your light and your salvation. And as long as the Lord remains your light and your salvation, your light can never go off through Jesus Christ our Lord. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online. Make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions. Download the app from Google Play Store.